If you're somebody right now hosting a bunch of virtual events on Zoom, definitely consider broadcasting these events onto YouTube. In this video, I'll be showing you exactly how to do that and why you might want to do this in the first place. Now, there are actually a lot of advantages of broadcasting your Zoom events onto YouTube. The first being, if you're broadcasting the event, more people can actually watch the event without actually joining the Zoom meeting. So you have more privacy in your Zoom meeting, but you can still show the event to a much larger audience. Secondly, you can actually use YouTube as a way to archive all these events so you can go back and watch them later and share them on YouTube after the fact if you want to. Now, to get started, the first thing you have to do is actually go into your Zoom settings. Unfortunately, this is not a free feature. Zoom does require you to have a pro licensed account or an enterprise account, so be sure you have a Zoom account that's licensed to do this. You're going to want to go to zoom.us, log in with your account, and go to the settings menu. Once you're in the settings, it's kind of buried in here. You have to scroll down quite a bit, but there'll be a setting for live streaming your meetings. Once you enable this, you'll get the option to choose which platforms you want the option to live stream to. There's no harm in checking all these on right now, but if you don't wanna see all these options in your Zoom meeting, you can just turn on the ones you're actually gonna be using. For the purposes of YouTube, I strongly suggest the YouTube option as well as the custom live streaming option as well. I'll show you how to use both of those in this video. Now, if you aren't seeing this setting in your Zoom portal anywhere, it likely means your admin needs to turn it on from the account level. So if you're using your work account, for example, you're gonna to have to ask your IT department or your Zoom admin to log in and enable this on the account level. Now that you've enabled the setting, the next thing you want to do is just quit the Zoom app on your computer and reopen it so it refreshes. Now, once you start a new Zoom meeting, you'll see at the bottom there'll be a more option. And when you press the more option, you'll see all the live stream settings that you've enabled for your account. Now, the simplest way to go live on the fly is just pressing the YouTube option directly from here. Once you press this, it's gonna open up a new browser and it's gonna ask you to connect your Google account to your Zoom account. Now at this point, there is a chance if you never live stream on YouTube before, that you'll have to enable the live stream feature for your YouTube account. And this is kind of annoying because if this is your first time doing it, you'll have to wait 24 hours before the feature is enabled. I don't know why it takes so long, but you have to press the button and then you have to wait 24 hours before you can use it. But assuming you've already enabled live streaming for your YouTube account, at this point you could just press go live and you're ready to go. Now again, this is the easiest way to go live on the fly, but if you're hosting an event and you're pre-scheduling it, I strongly suggest doing it the other way, which is the custom option. To do this, you actually wanna to go to the YouTube website first and on the top, go to the live stream options. So once you're on this page on the left side, you'll see a section for streams and you want to press on streams and then you'll have the ability to enter in a bunch of information, things like the title, description, you can upload a custom thumbnail, you can change the privacy settings so it's an unlisted stream, for example. And once you enter all this information in, the next thing you want to do is press the schedule later button. And this will allow you to choose the exact date and time that your event will be going live. And this is really helpful because it'll actually put a reminder on your YouTube page like a regular video, but it'll just say you'll be going live at this date and time so people know in advance. Now once you schedule your stream and you have all the information filled out, the next thing you want to do is press the blue button at the bottom saying create stream. At this point, you're given two very important pieces of information. Now, you don't have to write this down right now. You can always come back and access this later, but you'll need the RMTP URL and also your stream key. And once you close out this little pop-up box on the top right, this little share icon, and you wanna press on that and get the actual YouTube link that will link back to your live stream. And this is the link you can actually use beforehand to promote any event that you're hosting. So you can use it in your marketing materials, your social media, and it'll link back to your live stream when you actually go live. Now that you have all this information, you wanna go back into Zoom and start a new meeting. And now instead of pressing the YouTube option for live streaming, you wanna press the custom option. And once you open this up, it'll actually ask you for all the information we just discussed. So your RTMP URL, your streaming key, and the shareable URL that you can post on YouTube. Now at this point, all you have to do is press the live button and you're good to go. It'll actually live stream you right into that pre-scheduled event that you made on YouTube. And that link that you've been sharing in your marketing materials and your social media will come live. Now I strongly suggest having a second computer open that's watching your stream, but that's on computer complete mute so the sound shouldn't be on. That way you can make sure the stream is working and you have visibility into making sure there's no lag or anything like that. But also just keep in mind that you wanna mute yourself on the streaming computer. You don't want that feedback going back into the stream. But now that you're live, you can have your Zoom event and you can actually end your stream anytime you want. On the top left of your Zoom meeting, you'll see a few options and one of them is to end the stream. That's it for this video. I hope you guys found that helpful. If you have any questions about live streaming your Zoom meeting onto YouTube or anything like that, leave a comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Be sure to press the red subscribe button down below and I'll see you guys next time.